Yeah, so today's video is an interesting topic. Many Mortal Kombat fans are upset about it, and I also think it's getting ridiculous. You know, at first I was like, who really cares? But then it kept happening, to the point where it's gotten ridiculous. Several fan-favorite characters in Mortal Kombat 1 have had their genders swapped, which is oddly common in recent entertainment. And listen, if it was just one or two characters, I'm not gonna lose any sleep over it, especially if the character is unpopular and Netherrealm just wanted to spice things up, but there's five. That's right, five different characters in Mortal Kombat 1 are confirmed to have their gender swapped. They used to be men, but now they're women, and there's five of them in one game. Feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments below, because maybe I'm wrong, but this feels like overkill to me. Also, it's only in one direction, which feels a bit biased and unfair, if I'm being honest. I mean, if they all looked like this, then maybe it would be fine, but they don't because Western gaming. But yeah, five characters in Mortal Kombat 1 have gone from male to female, and I wanted to talk about it because some of this info is brand new. Many of these characters have haven't even got gameplay yet, but we still know they're women. Real quick, I want everybody watching to let me know their thoughts about this in the comments down below, and without any further ado, let's begin after a quick word from today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Dream. Listen, I'm a gamer, okay? I stare at screens all day long, and then I'm also a YouTuber, which means to edit that gameplay, I'm also staring at more screens. And as a result, I had a very tough time going to sleep. I would stare at the ceiling for hours at a time just laying in bed, which meant I was tired the next morning, and you never do your best work when you're groggy all day. And I tried lots of methods or medication to sleep, but none of them were really working well for me until Dream. It tastes like hot chocolate and has natural sleep supportive ingredients. Not only did Dream help me fall asleep, but it also let me stay asleep longer and have more deep sleep. As a result, I wake up refreshed and I kind of feel like a morning person now. I no longer dread getting out of bed in the morning. Dream is perfect for anyone who struggles to fall asleep or just stay asleep. And on top of that, it's a great addition to anybody's natural bedtime routine. And it's guilt free too, at only 15 calories, there's no added it's sugar, it's gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan, no GMO products in it, it's keto-friendly, and as mentioned earlier, it has high-quality sleep-supportive ingredients. Keep in mind, good sleep is required to live a healthy life. And the cool part is, you can actually get a subscription to Dream so that it keeps arriving at your door. And the subscription comes with cool perks too, like 20% savings every month and free shipping, along with a free frother with your first order. And you even unlock early access to other products when they launch. Oh, and you get early loyalty points too with every order, and when you share Beam with a friend, you you both get a discount. Find the easiest way to get sleep and stay asleep when you click the link below. Or you can scan the QR code on screen and use code UNDERDOG to get 35% off your first order. Getting good sleep is very important for living a happy and healthy life, so check out Dream today. Alright, and back to the video. Let's begin with the least offensive character, Janet Cage. Regular Johnny is still in the game as the main character, which means his spotlight has not been stolen, nor has he been replaced, which is great. Plus, Janet Cage is just a cameo character, which means she's a support role, she's not one of the main characters taking his gameplay away, and she's also from a different timeline. So overall, her inclusion in the game isn't really a big deal. Even so, some players might find her inclusion a bit strange, and I also admit it's a bit random of a choice, but also I'm not going to lose sleep over it. Although, I do find it strange how she's the only gender-swapped character that we see fighting with the good guys. The rest of them were all villains. What did Netherrealm mean by that? Honestly, when it comes to Janet Cage, the only thing I hate about her are those stupid sunglasses and that terrible hairstyle. But alright, next up we have a character swap that was more controversial, and I know this because recently I made a video about this character and everybody in the comment section was not happy about this change whatsoever. And that's because this character's name is Cyrax. That's right, the Tin Can. They made that character into a lady in Mortal Kombat 1. And on top of that, she's confirmed to be less cyberized and just wearing less armor in general. And believe it or not, fans aren't happy about either. They're upset that her gender was swapped and they're also upset set that she's less of a cyborg. And unlike Janet Cage, Cyrax is going to be a fully playable character, and also there's not going to be a male version of the character unless we count the cameos, but they're not canon. Or in other words, this change is here to stay. Cyrax is going to be a girl for the entirety of the game, and possibly in the sequels if this character returns, because it's a new timeline. If you were a big fan of Cyrax and hate this change, well, you've got to deal with it now, because it's going to stick for the next couple games or so. And then on top of that, Cyrax is likely going to play a big role in the Mortal Kombat 1 story expansion, otherwise known as Mortal Kombat Story Mode Part 2 or Mortal Kombat 1 Aftermath, whatever you want to call it. My point is, a big part of that story is going to be the Cyber Lin Kuei initiative, and Cyrax is right there in the middle of the whole thing, which means she's going to play a very big role in the story. And as a result, it was likely a bad move on Netherrealm's part to change the character in this big of a way, because keep in mind in Mortal Kombat 11, Cyrax did not get a chapter, and also he 
wasn't even a playable character. He never got that chance, but now in Mortal Kombat 1, he does get a story mode chapter and is going to play a big role in the story, but you're telling me that his character has been changed very drastically and fans might not like that. When you look at things that way, it makes sense why many fans are upset. Now me personally, I don't think Cyrax ever played a huge role in the Mortal Kombat stories, and as a result, I'm not that freaked out if he's a lady, especially if he's really attractive, that could make me like this change a bit more, but at the same time, I do understand why many Cyrax fans would be upset about this change, and I'm also wondering why Netherrealm did it so much in this one game. But hey, at least Netherrealm did not do this to a fan favorite character like Scorpion, because that would be crazy, right? He is the poster boy of the entire series, there's no way they would change him, that would be crazy, never mind they did it. That's right, Mortal Kombat 1 has a lady Scorpion, but thankfully she's not just Hanzo from a different dimension, instead she's from a timeline where Hanzo was killed and she survived instead becoming Scorpion. So it's a bit more creative than Janet Cage, but the fact that her moveset and fire abilities are the same as the regular Scorpion does feel a bit lazy. But once again, she's not stealing the spotlight from Scorpion, nor is she a fully playable character, instead she's going to be a cameo fighter. It's very likely that Harumi will become playable in the story mode expansion, but some people theorize she might not even be a brand new cameo, and instead she's going to be a costume variant for the existing Scorpion cameo. Which if that turns out to be the case, I'm going to be severely disappointed. It would still be okay, but I'd prefer a brand new cameo instead of just a costume with some new voice acting. No matter what the case may be, I'm just grateful that Netherrealm wasn't crazy enough to replace Scorpion with a lady version in the main story. But speaking of fan favorite characters, let's talk about one who's been missing for an entire game. His name is Sector, and you guessed it, apparently he's also been gender bent into a lady. At first, I did not believe this. I saw several people in the comments talking about it, but I just assumed they were misinformed or jumping to conclusions, but unfortunately, I double checked with Data Miner the Thinny, and it turns out that yes, there is data out there that heavily implies Sector will also be a lady in the story mode expansion. And just like with Cyrax, this version of Sector is from the main era timeline, okay? Not a spin-off timeline like with Janet Cage. No, this is Sector from the main timeline. Or in other words, Netherrealm has turned both of the famous cyber ninjas into ladies. It was not enough to change Mustard, they had to change Ketchup too. And once again, I would not consider it a very big deal if they just did Sector or if they just did Cyrax. I don't really care more about one character over the other. I think Cyrax has more depth as a character, but I also enjoy how Sector likes being evil. If only one of these characters was swapped, it wouldn't be a big deal, but the fact they both got swapped just kind of feels like overkill. Did you have to change both the characters? It just feels like a bit much, maybe I'm wrong, but it feels like Netherrealm's changing a bit too much. Now, in the previous games, especially the Netherrealm timeline, Sector never did play that big of a role in the story, but guess what? In Mortal Kombat 1, it turns out that Sector is the one who designed the Cyber Initiative. That's right, he's the lead engineer, and the Cyber Lin Kuei were his idea, his genius, and we know this because Bihan says so in his own arcade ladder ending, and we know from the writers that these arcade ladder endings are all canon. Or in other words, Lady Sector is apparently just better than the original Sector, because she designed and created the Cyber Lin Kuei, it was her idea. Real quick, just for fun, how many of you watching think that these two are going to be siblings somehow? Like adopted siblings, or step siblings, something like that. Place your bets in the comments down below, because don't forget that Smoke and Scorpion are siblings in this new timeline. They're adopted siblings, but they're still siblings. And as a result, I would not put it past Netherrealm to make Cyrax and Sector somehow related, even if they're just adopted siblings. But boy oh boy, now it's time to talk about the last character who went from man to waman in this game. And this information has not gone viral yet, which means many of you watching might not even know about this swap. If we go all the way back to Mortal Kombat Armageddon, there is a certain dragon that helps Taven throughout the game. He can talk, he's absolutely massive, and just all around cool. But what if he was a lady? Yep, that's right, they gender swapped the dragon of all characters. And keep in mind, there's supposed to be two dragons, so it's possible that both of them have been swapped. There's no way to know just yet, but the point is, they changed the dragon. This character won't be playable, by the way, because that would be way too cool, right? Getting to play as a freaking dragon in Mortal Kombat 1, that would be so much fun. But sadly, it's not going to happen. We won't get to play as him, I mean her, the dragon, but you will get to see her in Story Mode Part 2, so that's neat. Since we aren't playing as the character, it might not seem like a big deal to make the dragon into a woman. In fact, we don't even know if this character will even talk yet, like in Armageddon, so who really cares if the dragon is a lady now? But honestly, 
honestly, that logic kind of goes both ways, doesn't it? If nobody cares about the change, then why even do the change in the first place, you know? But there you have it, everyone. Five different characters in Mortal Kombat 1 that went from man to woman. And believe it or not, there's actually three more, like Madame Bo is heavily implied to be Bo Rai Cho, and Baraka himself was trained by Asgarth, who is also confirmed to be a woman now. And also, Raiden has a sister instead of a brother, so many fans are assuming this is Fujin, which would mean that Fujin is a lady in Mortal Kombat 1. However, keep in mind at this point, those three characters are just theories and not officially confirmed. But even so, it is quite peculiar how many characters have been gender swapped in Mortal Kombat 1. Now, at the end of the day, all I really care about is gameplay, and also if the characters look really cool, possibly even very hot. But do I still think it was odd to change this many characters? I definitely do. But at the same time, I'm not really angry about the changes, I'm just confused more than anything else. So one last time, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. How do you feel about Mortal Kombat 1 gender bending so many characters? Once again, five characters are confirmed to be swapped and three other possible characters, making for a total of eight. So how do you feel about that? Does it make you angry? Does it make you happy? Or do you not care? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below. Thanks for watching everyone, and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like down below, it really does help the channel out a ton. And then finish that combo by subscribing and ringing that bell so you never miss any future videos. Make sure to come back next time, and as always, stay underdogs.